G'day boys and girls, I haven't lost anything. I'm actually just checking the ground because the ground's very hard. What's happened before, when there's lots of rain, it goes into the ground, but then the tractors, the big heavy machinery, they become onto the ground and they're so heavy that it causes a lot of suction. The water's trapped underneath it. So the farmer's using what's called an aerator. It's like a big heavy roller with spikes on it. So as it goes over, it actually makes holes in the ground, allows it to breathe, allows the water to come up. So it allows the fertilizer, the slurry, all these things to mix into the soil much better, and then they get a much better crop for the grass. So we're gonna look at the aerator today to see the difference it makes on a field for the farmer. So before that, we're gonna sing a song, visit Neil the farmer, uh, on the, see the air reader, and then we're gonna finish with another song. Over mountains high, through the valleys low, God is good, wherever we go, from the brightest days to the darkest nights, God is Boys and girls, I'm on a farm today, and when I was a wee boy, I used to love... Hi, hi, hi! What are you doing up there? That's dangerous. Oh, sorry. Fall off that cull. Oh, dear goodness. I'm getting told off. Still getting told off. The hospital. Oh, no. Oh, what is this here, Neil? Oh. This is called an aerator. An aerator? Aerator. Boy, so I've never seen, I never seen one of these before. Did he make this? No, my son made it. Your son made that? Yeah. But can you buy them? Oh, you can buy them, yes. That's common. This is Neil the farmer. When I was a wee, when I was a wee boy, I used to love climbing everything. I was getting told off then. I'm still getting told off. But I was amazed at this, and I thought, I thought it was a thing you could climb on. This was to put your foot on, like bouldering. Neil, what is this here? This, this is it's a roller with spikes. And these spikes, as you drive along, they go into the ground, and it lets the air down into the ground and lets the ground breathe. Wow. Well, what, what's the purpose? What's, how does that help the ground? Well, because modern machinery is so heavy nowadays, your ground gets what we call compacted. Yes. 
you know, if you if you take if you took a, a wee bun, yes, you squeezed it instead of being this height, it's only this height. But this machine, that's the ground look at. And when you put this machine over the land, then it lets the air into it and the ground breathes and it opens it up again. That's, am that's amazing, that. So at what time of the year would you use this now? Uh, spring or autumn would be the best times for it. Spring or autumn. So there's the field. There's the farmer thinking about the field again because the machinery, he was saying the machinery, the tires are so wide, the machinery is so heavy, it squashes and there's like a suction. So the, the field needs to breathe. So this is a wonderful uh, machine, very simple. And it's got heavy like a roller with the spikes to break up the ground for the best for it. And that's a biblical thing. Whenever we think about the Bible again, we think about the farmer and he's sowing and he has to break up the ground and that's to let the, the ground breathe so the water can go through it and so the air can go through it so the grass can grow better. But then what happens if you don't put this on the field? Well, then the ground gets more and more compacted and then the grass doesn't grow as well. Yes. And uh, it's just generally good for the land. So you might think it's cruel if you pull this over a field on a big, big machine with a spike. And you might think it's cruel, but it's not. It's actually for the benefit of the land. And sometimes whenever we think about um, being told off or being told about the difference between right and wrong, instruction, teaching, and we, 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 we don't like rules. And sometimes it's like life. But this is a lovely picture. It seems cruel that this big machine has been pulled over the ground, breaking up the ground so they can breathe better but it's for the benefit of the soil and also the benefit of the field and they will that field do better than the field that doesn't have this on it oh, yes well they yeah See, even, even the farmer knows the field that doesn't have it, the field that does have it, the one that gets us on it, it does much better whenever it has crops or grass for silage. And that's why the Bible says to train up a child in the way he should go, and when he's old, he'll not depart from it. The Bible talks about instruction. It talks about correction. It talks about ch chastening or chastising. And that's why, boys and girls, don't despise when your parents, your mother or father, are teaching you correction directing you, maybe shouting at you, telling you off, it's for your benefit. And sometimes in school, the teacher might have to raise their voice or tell you off, talk to your parents about you, it's for your benefit later on in life. So it's so important. What's this called again then? It's called an narrator. A narrator? Yeah. I thought a narrator was something different than the time of the war. That air, air raiders. <laughs> but it really is for, it's to let the air flow through the ground for the benefit of it. So I thought when I saw this in Neil's farm, I thought that's a very big piece of machine. It's very simple. It's got the spikes. It's got the weight. But ultimately, it's for the benefit of something you can't see. And that's underneath the ground. When the ground is prepared well, developed well, then what comes out of the ground will be much better. And that's like your heart. <clears throat> the very thing I can't see about you or nobody else can see is your heart and God says little children give me your heart and when your heart is prepared well when your heart receives the Lord Jesus then it shows in your life and sometimes we try to cling up ourselves on the outside if Neil went over with a pair of scissors with an iron on the grass it would make no difference if underneath all blocked up it's all tight and all compressed no matter what he does, does on the outside it's not going to have the same effect of what this machine will do there for in order to have God in your life you've got to open up your heart and let him into your heart in other words let him into your life and let him live in you to teach you to, to correct you to guide you as you go through your life so Neil even on the farm does this help you learn about God oh certainly yeah but you're 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 a man Neil you would never uh, need to be told off or chastised oh what I tell you there's a new lesson to be learned every day. Every day? Yes. But you would never, you would never send it at this stage in life now, would you? Unfortunately, we all do things that we shouldn't do. We get cross with people we love. We say things we shouldn't say. But you, would you ever get frustrated? Oh, certainly, yes. You feel like that feel then? Yes, get stressed. <laughs> stressed tight. So just like this is a great stress reliever. You imagine it gets rolled over your back. You think, that's great for an itchy back. But my goodness, it'd be so painful. Well, you wouldn't survive. But the idea is the pain. And that's what God has to do to chastise. And sometimes, Neil, does God have to tell you off? Oh, certainly, yes. And is it important to have a teachable spirit? 
Very much so, yes. Boys and girls, if you have a teachable spark, when God is telling you off, let him tell you off. It's for your own benefit and don't rebel against God. Is it a good thing to rebel against God, Neil? No, definitely not, no. no. Accept the punishment and correct your ways. Accept the punishment and correct your ways. There's a wise man giving good biblical instruction. Did you learn that in Sunday school? I did, certainly. That's a proverb. Do you know what number? No, I'm sorry, I don't know. N neither do I. <laughs> it's good to have the Bible as a rule book, and I thought this is a great example, good for the grind, and the lesson is God is good for you. God is good. I still can't remember, can you put me in the spot? <laughs> all the time and all the time, God is good. See you next time. Bye. sleep there did you enjoy that that was the aerator so important because the ground could be all clogged up and it's just been cut of silage so we have the wee sleep before the aerator comes on and then you've got the fertilizer then the slurry and so i, I need to have a wee rest here because it's such a nice day <laughs> see you next time